guys to Savvy Charmed Life. I'm Tracy, and today we're gonna to be doing my week one plan with me for February 2021 in my A5 Stology bullet journal. Okay, so I told you guys in my February setup that for the month of February, because the plan is to go to Disney World, um, that for every week in February, we are going to be doing a kit that um, is homage to a particular ride at the Magic Kingdom. And the first kit that we're gonna be using, all four of the kits that we're gonna be using this month are from Cricut Paper Co., which is one of my favorite shops. She has such really, um, unique beautiful um themed kits so these are the full boxes for this kit and this one is for the carousel at the magic kingdom which is one of the first rides that you see when you get past the castle so like the carousel is right behind cinderella's castle so we have some functional half boxes at the top these are our nine full boxes we have a hand in front of the castle holding some ice cream, a uh, Minnie Mouse sparkly book bag with like one of the carousel horses on it, um, like a little Disney bounding outfit, some really cute Disney bounding shoes with one of the horses and the castle on it, a hand holding a drink in front of the carousel, a mug with one of the horses on it, some mini ears, um, a cupcake, and then like a drink and a churro. Um, we also have a weekend banner, just like color schemed. All of the kits are going to have the same functional items that we use this week. Um, but it goes along with our color scheme, which is kind of like this like coral, light blue, um, pink, um, yeah, kind of like coral and light blue with a little bit of gold accent is in the kit. So we have our coral, our light blue, like a more like seafoam kind of blue, and then like a cream um, color, our weekend banner, all of our functional items, of course our heart checklist. Here's our bottom washi and our date covers, some trackers, some more functional items here for, you know, tracking for putting appointments, a whole page of just like, um, you know, quarter boxes and half boxes and like the scalloped ones as well. I'm not sure, are these individual hearts? Yeah, they are individual hearts. Half box heart checklists. So much to this, these kits, I'm gonna have lots of leftovers. I am planning, I think, at the end of February to do like this huge giveaway because I have so many leftovers these days. I have more than I can put into my binder, like my binder is overflowing with leftovers. So I'm gonna do a big leftover giveaway um, at the end of February. I'm just kind of like storing up all of my leftovers to share with you guys. Um, we have some script, you know, functional headers here. Some really beautiful glitter headers, um, full box heart checklists, um, and then two like, uh, I use these for meal planning, but like days of the week trackers. Um, like in theory, you could probably do two weeks with this kit, but we're just gonna do one. All right. So I'd like to do a little flip through for you guys if you missed my February setup video, which I will link below. Um, this is what it ended up looking like. So much fun, all Disney themed. What I ended up doing, because my I used my stamps that I got for Christmas for the first time in the setup, and it does kind of, it doesn't bleed through, but you can see a lot of shadowing to the point where you can like really see it. So I did tape two pages together so that the shadowing is minimal. All right, so first things first, I am going to, as always, now that I'm doing daily spreads again, I'm basically, let me show you an example from a January setup. I'm going to be doing my um, time, you know, my schedule log down the side, the left-hand side of every page, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, I don't do a log. I have Saturday and Sunday on one page together. So first, I am going to set up my log, and we're going to speed through this part.
Okay, so now that I've got my logs written down, now I'm going to do my date covers. And I'm pretty sure these do not have date dots, so I will have to dig into my date dots to find ones that I think will work. So as you can tell probably from my manicure, this is the same weekend. I told you guys I was gonna be doing some batch video, um, some batch recording on Martin Luther King Jr. birthday weekend while my husband is away at Universal. Um, it is still the same weekend. Um, it is Sunday now. Um, so it's like the day before Martin Luther King birthday. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to get ahead, uh, which is good because I think the next couple of months for me are going to be a little busy. Um, so it's probably good to get some like pre-planning and pre-decorating done. And that way I can like just focus on editing and getting these up for you guys. Um, so my husband is away. I was really worried about being like depressed while he was gone, being alone in the house. Cause when we first planned these trips, um, we thought our dog would still be with us. So we wouldn't be alone cause we'd have Kaylin. Um, but, uh, Kaylin passed away a couple months ago. So, um, we are alone, a little sad in the house. Um, but it hasn't been so too bad. Um, like I spent some time talking to my sister yesterday and Kevin FaceTimed me at lunch and in the evening before bed. So I got to talk to him twice, which was nice. Um, my brother was supposed to come visit me, but he wasn't feeling well. And, you know, uh, with COVID, obviously you want to be like safe and, and, you know, comfortable, you know, knowing that you did the right thing and that you're not putting other people in jeopardy. So he stayed home to be on the safe side. All right. So Monday is the first makes it very convenient. Um, this, uh, plan with me. All right. Well, I'm looking for my, I have a huge mess that I'm going to have to clean up before my husband gets home. All right, so there are gold elements. So we could use the gold. We could go with just black. Let's see. So gold is an option. These day covers are kind of like big. So let's see. I do have these rose gold ones, which I would, which would work. Hmm. I actually think because of the color, I'm going to go with the rose gold instead of the gold. Um, my... Rose gold ones from Perfect Prince Co. And then they're a good size to go with um, the size of the date covers. I can't remember what I was saying. Um, but yeah, so I spent some time talking to my sister like twice yesterday. Kevin FaceTimed me twice. Um, so I haven't been overly lonely. Like it hasn't been too bad being alone in the house. Um... I had like a fully lazy day on Saturday, like literally stayed in my pajamas all day, guys. Like, uh, I did get out of bed. Like <laughs> I did filming. I did some editing. I watched a ton of movies. I ordered myself some groceries for the weekend. Um, so I did do stuff, but I stayed in my pajamas all day. Um, and I just realized this probably looks like the same sweater I was wearing yesterday, but it is a different sweater. It's like a, um, it just kind of looks similar. The sweater I was wearing yesterday was like gray and, uh, you probably are going to see that in like three videos. Um, and, but it's like a gray, like a heather gray, like soft, like, um, lounge sweatshirt. And this one is more like a fleecy, like sweater with like a mock turtleneck on it. Um, I don't know if it's a mock turtleneck. It's like one of those turtlenecks that like kind of like is loose around your neck. I don't even know what kind of turtleneck you call that. 
Um, and this is more of like a, like a green, like it's hard to tell, like sometimes it just looks gray and then sometimes I can tell it has like a green tint to it, but they are different sweaters. <laughs> I'm wearing different clothes today. Um, actually, all right, let's put the washi down. I think that's what I'm going to do next. Um, and I'm probably going to need my scissors. Let's see. For this, I'm going to cut. that way there we go um I did actually leave the house today <laughs> um I haven't been to Olive Garden in like forever because when we tried to go to Olive Garden for like um like a holiday kind of thing and we felt very like unsafe like they were like it was we felt close like they seated other parties relatively close to us and we didn't see them wiping down tables properly and we felt kind of unsafe. Um, so I haven't really been back to Olive Garden in like forever. Um, but I went, got an Uber. I don't have a car. So that's part of the reason I didn't leave the house yesterday. Um, my husband took the car. We only have one vehicle. He has a motorcycle. And um, I have a car that I use for work. And he works from home. Like his company is like 100% like virtual at this point. Um, so he works from home. So he doesn't need a vehicle. Um, and then he has his motorcycle. Um, so he took the car to drive to Florida. So I'm at home without a car. I don't, cannot drive his motorcycle. Um, so, um, I took an Uber to Olive Garden and got soup salad and breadsticks. But I got there at like 11 o'clock in the morning. So I was like one of the first people there. It was like really clean because they had just, you know, cleaned it. And, um, they... There was hardly anybody there, so I felt really, like, pretty safe, you know, being there. All right, I'm trying to decide whether to do both washi here and then these two on the next page, or I'm trying to decide. I do I want this, like, I feel like I think I want these to match. Like, I think I want the same washi on the same page. But yeah, so I went to Olive Garden, and then I walked down to Walmart. Um, that's in the same, same like shopping center where the um, Olive Garden is. And then I went to Petland Puppies because I saw online that they had two Cavalier puppies, and because I'm like home alone. And I don't have my puppy yet, and you know, like I'm so excited about getting our new puppy, which will be pretty much as soon as we get back from, as soon as I get back from Disney World is when we'll be picking up our new puppy. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, so, you know, I was like, I decided to go visit on one of these Cavalier puppies that's at the pet store. Um, just so you guys know, never buy a puppy from a pet store. They're so expensive. I'm just like, I was like in shock. Like we went to the pet store cause we saw that they had a, um, all right, I'm going to put the full boxes down now and I'm trying to decide which one's where. Um, uh, we went and saw cause they had a tricolor Cavalier that was like about 10 weeks old at Petland um, before Christmas, right after um, Kaylin passed away. And we were like, well, let's go look at it and see like how much it costs. Um, and so we went to visit um, Petland and saw this um, tricolor Cavalier and we found out how much it costs. And it was, I mean, we were in shock. Um, this puppy cost almost six thousand dollars it was like fifty eight hundred or something like that it was like really really close it was like almost six thousand um and we were just in shock because the breeders that i've been looking at like the cost for a puppy is like um let's see let me put the ears here the cost to get a puppy from a breeder would be like um the one that we're getting the puppy from it is um i'm gonna put double boxes here and actually i just realized i put this one down cro crooked but it is a vinyl sticker so it should come up okay but yeah the breeder that we're getting ours from which is in 
Uh, it's the breeder is called Cavaliers by Crumley, and they're in um, North uh, East Georgia, like Northeast of Atlanta, like an hour north of Atlanta. And uh, to get a puppy at like 10 weeks old, it's $3,000. And then you can pay a little extra to have your puppy go through some like additional training, which we're gonna do um, for like an extra $500. So we're paying like, being totally candid with you guys right now. So we're paying about $3,500 for um, a trained puppy. And the puppy at Petland was gonna be like six grand. Um, we were just like in complete shock um, when <laughs> we found that out. Um, but yeah, so I went back today, um, because I saw that they had two little male Blenheim Cavaliers and I thought that, um, I just wanted to go cuddle a puppy, but they wouldn't let me t hold the puppy. Um, they said that, um, they had had some like accidents or something where, um, people had like, I guess maybe dropped puppies or something, which sounds like insane to me that somebody would drop a puppy. Um, but so I had to leave the puppy on the ground, um, and it was like whining and wanted to be held and it just made me so sad. All right. I'm going to put a double box here too. Um, but yeah, so I went and pet one of these little male Blenheim and it was so little. I'm going to put, I have some pictures. I'm going to put a couple of pictures right here of what this little puppy at the pet store, um, looked like. It was adorable. Like so, so cute. Um, I thought it was so precious. Um, but like I said, it cost so much money. I'm considering using one of my, like, does this match at all? This is one of my little Simply Gilded with like gold, um, foil dots on it. I think it works. I'm going to put it like right here for like a little, um, separation on but yes yeah, so i went and saw the little blenheim puppy and just out of curiosity i was like yeah i'd like to know how much it costs and this puppy cost sixty one hundred dollars so i'm just like warning people do not buy a puppy at a place like that um they are ripping you off um like we have decided to go with a breeder where we we're gonna have to wait a little while to get you know a trained puppy i think i'll do a layer of it um you know we're gonna have to wait a little while before we can get our puppy but like i said it's gonna be you know from a like a re reputable breeder you're looking at $3,000 to $3,500. Um, and before we had decided on this particular breeder, um, I had looked at other like websites and stuff and there were other breeders. Like there was one that was available now that was like 10 or 12 weeks old in Nashville that was only gonna be like $2,000. Um, so, and these are for purebred Cavalier, King Charles Spaniels, um, from a breeder, um, and they're like less than half, you know, like at Petland, you're talking more than twice as much as you would pay a breeder. So just do not, <laughs> do not pay, do not pay a breeder that much money. That is just like insane how much that costs. It just like blew me away how much they cost at a pet store. Um, okay. I'm going to do my heart checklist here. Um, but yeah, so I went and cuddled that cute little puppy. Um, I don't think pet stores are the best place to get a puppy, but at the same time, those cute little puppies need some love, don't they? Um, and if you're okay with it, you know, like, uh, please adopt as well. Like our first dog, Diggory, that we had for the first 10 years of our marriage, we adopted him from the Humane Society and we went and got him on like a PetSmart adoption day. Um, and he was supposed to be half miniature dots. Well, I think half full-size Dotson, and the other half they didn't know like what his parent, they didn't know who his father was. Um, but nobody ever believed us that he was half Dotson. 
like that was the only parentage we knew so we would like put that like down like if we took him to like a groomer or something or or left him in a kennel we would say he was part Dotson, and then they would always change it to like lab mix or something because nobody ever believed us the degree was half Dotson because he looked nothing like a Dotson. i'll put a little picture here and and you can see <laughs> what i'm talking about nobody ever believed us um but yeah so but you can get depending on the breed that you get you can get um you know purebred dogs for you know three thousand dollars or less um you can adopt dogs for you know three hundred dollars or less because basically like when you adopt a dog from like the humane society or something you're basically paying for their shots and everything um so if you adopt a dog like when we got digger we paid about three hundred dollars and when we got kaylin we adopted her she was an elderly dog sometimes if you're like curious about a breed like what we did all right um i don't know what is going on this particular weekend and i am afraid to put my schedule down because i don't want to put it down and then something change or then like decide to go like to virtual learning and then like my whole schedule change so i don't want to put my schedule down here yet um but like if you're curious about a certain breed and you're, I'm gonna put the weekend banner down. That's what I'm gonna do. If you're curious about a certain breed, like we were about Cavaliers, um, then you can check breeders and sometimes they'll have older dogs available for adoption. So um, that's what we did. We adopted Kaylin from a breeder. Um, she was a retired show dog and had had a couple of litters of puppies. So they had bred from her. Um, and let's see, I think I'm gonna put down the to-do banners and a um, glitter header underneath each of the date covers. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so we adopted her as an elderly dog. She was about, I see elderly, like middle-aged. She was seven when we got her from her breeder. Um, and had her for about three years before she passed away because she was 10 when she passed away. Um, so, uh, and we absolutely fell in love with her um, and with just the breed of Cavaliers. Um, so we decided we wanted to get another Cavalier and at this point in our lives with, um, you know, where we are financially, we feel like we can afford to pay <laughs> that amount of money to a breeder to get um, a Cavalier. So um, we absolutely love Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. They are just, they're so smart and they're really obedient and extremely loyal to their owners. And um, they're, you know, they're bred, they're like, bred for kings. They're bred for, uh, to be lap dogs. Um, King Charles Spaniels have been around for a long, long time. Obviously King Charles, um, bred them. Uh, oops, I forgot my header. Um, obviously King Charles bred them and, um, they were bred to be lap dogs and also to sleep with their owners and like keep the fleas away. So like basically to attract the fleas, so fleas stayed off of the owner um queen victoria very famously had a king charles spaniel named dash um there's actually like a portrait of her with dash um so cute um but yeah i uh really we really like this breed um they're just so sweet and cuddly and they're perfect apartment dogs so if you're like us and are in a um, small space or a small apartment, you know, they're, they're uh, like medium energy and don't need as much exercise as some other breeds. So you can easily, you know, keep them in an apartment without it being like, you know, detrimental to them. They do have some like, like issues. Um, they are prone to getting heart disease. So you do kind of have to watch that with Cavaliers. Um, I'm gonna see if I can pull this checklist up. 
because I want to put a header down. Um, but yeah, they are wonderful. Yeah, uh, the heart disease is really the only thing, but that's like something that you have to to deal with with um like full breed like uh purebred puppies dogs often have like little health issues that they're prone to get so health wise um a you know a mixed breed of mutt is like really like the best option but even with a mixed breed like uh diggory our first dog was a mixed breed and he ended up dying of a brain tumor at 10 years old so you just really never know with dogs you know uh i think that if you get 10 years with a dog like you're you're lucky you know um okay so the only thing i know for sure is that this friday is g best so i'm gonna pick one of these headers to put down i'm trying to decide between using a scalloped one or one of these little notes maybe hmm so i think maybe i'll do a scalloped one all right here and then i think i have my pilot yeah i do okay um on vinyl stickers i like to use the pilot ultra fine point permanent marker okay g best one two, three and then i'll get a highlighter to fill in this So there we go. So yeah, that is the only thing that I know I have. Um, everything else, you know, I'm pre-planning this pretty far in advance. Um, it is still mid-January when I'm planning for this week. So I'm gonna not fill in my log yet um, because just in case my schedule changes. So I think that is all that I can do for this particular week. Um, I'll show you what I have left a lot so whoever gets this giveaway is going to get a lot like basically this entire page is still left i have all of these functional items all of these the glitter headers and the um like script headers all of these these i will do i think i will do on my weekend i'll do my meal so what we'll do is, I will do a, let's see. All right, I think I'm gonna do a glitter header. I wish, the only thing about this kit I wish is that they still had a, um, that they had like more like deco to like decorate with. Yeah. So it doesn't look completely offset. I'm gonna put one here too. And then I'm gonna do dinners. And then the day of the week. There we go. Okay. I think I'm going to put a header here too. Um, so that it like fills in the space and doesn't look. Since I don't have any deco to put here, that way it doesn't look completely crazy. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. All right. So. Now, this is all I have left. So, all of these, all of these, still have all of my trackers. 
Um, I used all of my full boxes. I just didn't use these functional half boxes down here. I still have another like meal planner week sticker, my full box heart checklist, all of these functional stickers and these headers as well. So lots and lots of leftovers. So here we'll do our little flip through of the week. Let me zoom in for you guys. All right. So there's Monday and Tuesday. Like I said, I don't have a lot on here yet, but that's just because I don't know what's going to be going on yet. And I don't want to plan and then have to like white it out or something later. Yeah. So I think it came out really nice. I love the carousel. It's getting me excited about Disney. So if you loved the sticker kit and you loved this plan with me, please hit that like button. It would mean the world to me. And if you'd like to see more plan with me's like this, then please hit that subscribe button as well. I would love to welcome you to the Savvy Charm Life family. All right, guys. I can't wait to see you in my week two plan with me. Bye.